Hi crafty friends, I'm Hannah and welcome back to another Tech Right video. Today I'm going to show you how to do vinyl layering with using my all-time favorite vinyls from Tech Wrap. I've got their economical range black and white for my base colors, but the specialty colors I'm going to be using today is from their satin brush range. Now this range I have not used before, but I'm absolutely in love with it already. Let's open up this tan color. And isn't opening vinyl one of the best things ever, especially when it's got a pull tab like this? <laughs> anyway, let's take a look. Already, when I felt this vinyl, I fell in love with it. If you like sensory sort of vinyls that have texture, you will like this one. And it's called the Satin Brush because it almost have, has sort of like a long brush stroke finish, like a paintbrush in paint. It's, yeah, I really like it, but it's it's got a really nice sort of soft feel to it with those strokes. Like it's not coarse or anything like that, which is really nice. And then I've also got this rose pink color, which again is absolutely lovely. It's, it's almost like a hot pink shade, but a little bit more muted, which I really, really like. And of course I had to open this one up and have a look at it as well to have a look at that finish. It's a little bit hard to see, but trust me, the satin brush finish is really nice if you like vinyls with texture. So I've got my vinyls here ready to go. Let's take a look at the design I'm going to be using for my layering project. And it's this super cute cat picture. <laughs> so this picture here has four different colors involved. I've got all of them separated by color in their own layers. I've got my black, which is my base color. I've got my white and then the tan and the pink. So now I need to cut them. Now my black and my white are both from the economical range. So I can cut them on the same sitting. So I'm actually going to move the black one over to the same cutting mat as the white and do the same with the pink as well. So the pink and tan can go on the same cutting mat as they're the same finish and I'll be using the same cut settings, which are permanent glossy setting and the premium shimmer vinyl setting. These ones I use for everyday vinyls. Uh, they seem to work really well for me, uh, but everyone's got their preferences for their machines as well. Once you've had a bit of a play around, you know what settings work for you. Now that I've got my vinyls all cut, ready to go, um, I can start the layering process. Now, an easy way to do your vinyl layering or any sort of weeding on vinyls as well is actually to use one of your cutting mats to stick down your vinyl so it doesn't go anywhere. It just makes it easy to sort of place everything on there without it, you know, rolling up or, you know, getting away from you. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just placing my black vinyl piece down onto my cutting mat so it's nice and secure. And now I can start weeding away the black pieces that I don't need. I'm going to be using my all-time favorite Tech Wrap weeding tool pen as well. It's nice and sharp, perfect for adhesive vinyls. Look how smoothly that economical vinyl peels away. It's a dream to work with, especially once you've got the right cut setting. And now for the white. Now the white is the same economical range. And one thing I really like about this range is the clear past plasticky backing that comes with the vinyl. I don't know what it is about it. I just think it's really nice and it makes it really good for layering projects as well. <laughs> when you sort of hold it over what you're doing and you can see directly what's underneath. As well, this one is weeding perfectly because I used my permanent glossy setting, um, which seems to work really well on most of their glossy and uh, matte vinyl finishes. So already you can see with the different layers of the vinyl um, what sort of the image will look like once it's put together. But now I can weed and peel the satin brush finish vinyl and I'm hoping I got my cut setting right and it looks like it because it's also peeling and weeding perfectly and it's the most satisfying thing when you get the right cut setting and your vinyls just peel nicely. It's such a relief in a way. And look how easily that has weeded. And I'm actually really enjoying the feel and how this weeds. It's so nice to work with. And the pink is exactly the same. Look how smoothly that peeled away. I'm going to try and show you a little bit of a closer up of the finish. It's a little bit hard to see, but you can sort of see the line feature there. And it scrunches up really nicely as well. <laughs> So now that I have all of my pieces of vinyl cut and ready to go, I can start putting together the layering process. Now, I'm going to use my matte finish transfer tape from Tech Wrap for this. 
Why? Because it's a light tack transfer tape. When doing layering on vinyls, it's best not to use anything too strong or else your vinyls just will stick to the transfer tape and not your project. And I love the finish of the matte, vinyl, matte transfer tape as well. I'm going to take my first piece of transfer tape, pop it over my white layer and use my large squeegee just to flatten that down on there to make sure it is actually stuck to the transfer tape. But if you're ever not sure if your vinyl has stuck to your transfer tape, here's a little tip. Push down the squeegee onto the back of the backing and then peel it backwards like that. Now I could easily just plonk that down on top of my black layer there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use some parchment or baking paper as a barrier in between my two layers. And I'm gonna fold down one side of it. This I'm gonna be using as a pull tab and you'll see how that works in a moment. I'm gonna place this piece of baking paper onto my white layer, making sure I've got that sort of pull tab piece of it easily to access position it down onto my black layer, flatten it down, and then use my squeegee at the same time as pulling away that piece of baking paper from underneath. The baking paper is easy to pull away from transfer tape and vinyls, but being semi-transparent, it's easy to see your projects underneath so you can layer things nicely without you know misplacing them and the matte transfer tape as well being the light tack is perfect for layering you see how smoothly it pulls away without lifting off the entire decal so now I can move on to my next layer and I'm going to keep this piece of baking paper aside but being that the satin brush finish vinyl is textured I'm going to be using a strong grip and I know I said for layering before that a lighter tack is better, but when you're using anything textured, sometimes you do, in fact, need something a little bit stronger. And the Strong Grip, ta strong grip Transfer Tape from TechRap is actually really good to work with. It's got a nice finish and it's very flexible. So let's see how it goes with the Satin Brush Finish Vinyl. I'm going to place it over the top of my tan color here flatten it down with my squeegee same as I did before and notice how I've got a bit of extra transfer tape at the top there look how easily that peels away perfect and then I've got enough room of the transfer tape at the top there so I can use that to place it above the decal and flatten that down I'm going to take my baking paper position it exactly the same as I did before with the white layer place it in position, make sure I've got that extra piece of transfer tape up the top. I can use that to stick it down to use a sort of like an anchor. Once I've got that into place, stick, stick, and then do the exact same as I did before and using my squeegee to flatten down the vinyl into place while pulling away the baking paper using that little pull tab. Now you don't need to use a pull tab, but I find it really helpful. <laughs> you could use your own method if you want. Now, the moment of truth, is the strong grip transfer tape too strong and is it going to peel up my entire decal? No. <laughs> Luckily, I'm pulling this back really nice and flat against my mat and it did almost take that little star away, but I managed to hold that down. If you pull it straight upwards, you're probably going to lift off something, but if you pull it nice and flat backwards, you're less likely to lose any of your decal onto the transfer tape. And although this transfer tape is a little bit crinkled now, I'm actually going to reuse it because the strong grip is nice and strong, keeps its stickiness. I'm going to reuse it for the pink layer as well and do exactly what I did the first time. Although I'm not sure if you can pick up on my little mistake there. <laughs> Normally I leave a nice bit of transfer tape at the top to stick down as an anchor, but I didn't do that for some reason. I don't know, but I still managed to make it work. I got my baking paper place it into position the same as I did the other layers and then stick it down into place. 
the satin brush finished vinyl I think would you would be able to get away with the standard tack transfer tape from tech wrap as well um, but if you're not sure about it sticking you can always use that method like I showed you with the white layer where you flip it over use your scraper to flatten it down and then slowly pull the backing backwards but the strong grip today seems to have actually worked quite well and it isn't taking away my entire decal nearly took that star again there uh, but the rest of the decal seems to be sticking nicely together uh, almost took a little heart there but it's looking really good and those colors together look really nice and that is how you do a quick and easy layering process using some tech wrap vinyl and their transfer tape and showing off the new satin brush uh, vinyl range as well super cute love the range thanks for watching we'll see you next time thanks tech wrap